there, champ barbecuers. Today we're doing up some something different on the Weber Kettle 22. Oh hell yeah, deep fried pork steaks. Let's get to it. So on the Weber 22, I'm going to be using the Weber basket in the center, get the charcoal roaring. Put in, a, what I'm using is a large 6 quart cast iron Dutch oven. And we're going to fill that up with oil, not, not the whole way obviously. About a quart and a half of oil, using canola oil, get that hot enough. Let's prepare the pork steaks. So we're going to be uh, getting some flour down with some of your favorite seasoning. I'm using Uncle Steve Shake in this and uh, whisk, whisk that around. Have some uh, eggs whisked in a, uh, a bowl ready to go. I have about four to six eggs I've whipped up depending how many pork steaks, pork chops, whatever you're using here. And um, panko, panko at the end. So you're gonna get your uh, pork steaks, hit them in the flour with that seasoning, put them in the egg dredge, put them back into that flour, and then again back into the egg, and then into the panko, and then it's ready to go into the deep fryer. Whatever deep fryer you're using, I'm using the cast iron on the Weber kettle, all natural. And once your pork steaks are floating in that oil, oh hell yeah, they're perfect. Pull them off, put them on a pan, a wire rack, and uh, let them rest for a little bit. They're going to be hot, but they're crispy and delicious. Oh hell yeah. Deep fried pork steaks. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Come on now. That's awesome. This is one of the best ways to have a pork steak for sure. Try it out. Easy cook. Um, follow the way I did it here. I mean, really, within 15 minutes, you're ready to eat. Once, you, As long as you got everything ready to go together. And, yeah, man, it doesn't take long. And it's delicious. Oh, hell yeah. So, subscribe to the Beer Champ Nation. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And smash that dinner bell. Because that's what time it is. Oh, hell yeah.